So if you receive an email that reads, you have violated the Patriot Act, and now the FDIC is withdrawing deposit insurance from your bank account, if that shows up in your inbox, you need to know that's a scam, even though it appears to look quite legit. Now the real FDIC is fighting back. As Fox 23's James Tully explains, they are asking for your help. These scam artists are painting an ugly picture. Fraudulent emails is convincing as ever. So how do you stay on guard and protect your green? When people put their money in the bank, we want them to feel secure. Security that is being threatened by this, an email looking, at least at first glance, like a legitimate message from the FDIC. Following this link and you will be asked for personal information. And in the wrong hands, we all know what that leads to. Number one, the public should know this, this, there is no, if they see anything that looks uh, or smells like um, it's coming from the FDIC, it's, it's not real. According to a local tech professional, email is by far the most insecure way to communicate over the web. It's no different than you standing on one side of the street, and me standing on the other, and us yelling at each other. Damon demonstrated how easy it is for anyone to take a corporation's logo and begin to build fraudulent documents. The same way a company is open to negative publicity, they oftentimes cannot effectively prevent people from spreading these fake emails, no matter how reputable the industry at the end of the day, it all comes down to kind of personal accountability. Research it a little bit. Really, just take a few more minutes, you know. Don't just click the monkey, so to speak. Part of your research, know exactly where the links on your computer will lead before clicking on them. And contact your bank regarding any email that seems at all questionable. Scam mail is easy to spot and usually has a lot of holes in it, including this most recent one. FDIC insurance would never be revoked under any circumstance from any client. It, it, it will never happen, period. In many of these situations, knowledge really is power. Copeland says the FDIC will never contact you directly and certainly never ask for any personal information. And no, this money doesn't belong to me, but if it did, I'd make sure it was protected. Reporting in South Tulsa, James Tully, Fox 23 News. All right, James, thank you. Tonight, the FDIC is asking anyone who receives an email that appears to be from that agency to forward the message to alert at FDIC.gov.